Inspector Arif. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do couple and couple for the Class A tractor trailer road test. In a couple and couple, you have uh, only two mistakes allowed. If you make the third mistake, you fail the test. When you are doing the couple and couple, examiner has this form in his hand. These are the sequence uh, of the steps which examiner will uh, check when you are doing a couple and couple. And on this side, we have coupling steps. So keeping this in mind, uh, all the steps, I'm gonna perform this uh, couple and couple. And uh, if there's anything additionally I will be doing, I will let you guys know that this is additional, right? So let's start with the couple and couple. First I will go inside and check. The brakes are applied, transmission neutral. Yes, brakes are applied. Transmission is in neutral. Wheels are charged. Ground is level and secure. I am going to lower the landing gear. When you feel the pad is touching the ground, just leave it there. So we have to make sure the pad is free. And the handle is stored in a lower gear. I'm going to disconnect all lines now. All lines disconnected and secure. I'm going to pull the release handle out. Handle out, locking bolt out. Jaws are open, kingpin is visible. I'm going to move the trailer tractor forward unless the fifth wheel is clear of the trailer.
Now I'm going to inspect all lines for the coupling process. Glad hand has no crack, no damage. Seal present, no cut, no damage. Glad hand is in good condition. The other glad hand has no crack, no crack, no damage. Rubber seal, no cut, no damage, in a good condition. Power cord has no crack, no damage. Holes are clean and no dab is inside. All the lines have no cut, no damage. Both air lines are tightly connected and secure. Electrical line is tightly connected and secure. All lines are secure with the springs and the springs are not damaged. Handle is out, no crack, no damage. Locking bolt is out, no crack, no damage. Fifth seal is well greased, no crack, no damage. It moves up and down freely, no side play. All the fasteners are present. They are tight and secure, the coupler assembly is properly mounted. Four ray flashes are working, jaws are open. All the fasteners on this side are present. They are tight and secure. Make sure you touch all the fasteners and check them. The path is clear, there's no overhanging wall. I'm going to back up. Fifth wheel and the trailer height is good. Kingpin has no crack, no damage, well greased. It's vertical and aligned with the fifth wheel. Apron plate is well greased, no crack, no damage. Annual inspection sticker is valid till January 22, but this is not the part of couple and couple. If we are doing this additionally, if you miss this part, you're not gonna get a score error. Connector on the supply line has no crack, no damage. Boring present, no cut, no damage. Electrical connector, no crack, no damage. All seven pins present, they are straight, no crack, no damage. The other connector, no crack, no damage. Rubber seal present, no cut, no damage. All lines have no, crack, no cut, no damage. And they are tight and secure. Now I'm going to hook up and I will perform two tuck tests.
good touch test was successful. Now I'm going to do the vision inspection of the coupling. Handling, bolt in, no space between the fist wheel and the trailer. Jaws are closed, kingpin not visible. Now I'm going to connect all lines. Side signal is working, electrical line is properly connected. If you forget to say this and you don't check it, that's not a part of couple and couple. Now I'm going to raise the landing gear. Landing gear is up, handle secure. I am going to check air supply to the trailer. is 100 psi right now i'm going to push in the trailer supply one engine off now i'm going to listen for the leak i don't have any leak from the trailer supply line i'm going to press and hold for brake I don't hear any leak from the trailer service line. Exhaust works. So that's all for the couple and couple. Thank you and see you in next video.